Hey guys, welcome to Mr. F Teachers. We're looking at connectives. So we should already be really good at connectives. So what we're going to be looking at are all the different types of connectives we can use. And then I want you guys to be able to help by writing your own sentences using connectives. So connectives are obvious. We're really good at them by now. We just they use them to link ideas together. So I'm going to go through some really good connectives and what we use them for. While we're doing that, watch this little map play. It's pretty great. First sort of connective we want to look at are adding connectives. When we use these, we want to add more information. And I know you've all used these before, because an example of a couple of these are and, to, or also. Really simple stuff you should be really good at by now. Now we start to get into more specific connectives. We have sequencing connectives. Sequencing connectives are when we're trying to use connectives for chronological order or telling things in time. So we might use something like before, next, first, or after, when we're trying to use connectives to tell people what, what order things are happening in. We have emphasizing connectives. So when we use emphasizing connectives, we're using them to highlight our ideas. So things such as above all or in particular. And here's an example, just really quick. Calcium is an important mineral, especially if you need to strengthen your teeth and bones. We have comparing connectives. Comparing connectives, when we compare two different ideas to show how they're similar. And we use connectives such as likewise or equally. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, we're back, we're back. Contrasting connectives. We use these when we're trying to show how things are different. So we say, whereas, or on the other hand. So, for example, William the Conqueror led his men to battle on horseback, whereas Harold's infantry fought on foot. We have cause and effect connectives. So these explain why things happen. This is when we use connectives like because or consequently, which I know you've all used before. Here's your example right here. The boy missed his bus, consequently, he was late to school. We have qualifying connectives. Now, qualifying connectives are when we explain why something may change because of something else. And this is when we use connectives such as however, although, or except. So we can say something like, although the dog was very small, he was still aggressive. So we've used the, we've used the connective although to explain that even though the dog is small, he's still angry. We have illustrating connectives when we want to uh, give an example of something. So this is including unlike or instead of. So we might say the cat was small and quiet, unlike the enormous barking dog. We have place connectives. And so we use place connectives to express the position of, of things. So we can say something like the Earth's outer layer is called the crust. Beneath this lies the next layer known as the mantle. So we've used beneath as a connective to connect those two ideas together. And some other ones are below, throughout, or outside. The last one we have are temporal connectives. And temporal is really just a fancy word for time. And time connectives are when, you know, we use things in time. For example, we can use before, early, later, or meanwhile. So for example, we can say, the Earth travels around the Sun once a year. During this time, it spins around on its axis every 24 hours. So we've used the connective during to highlight how much time is passing. Uh, okay, a bunch. Okay. So, those are all the connectives, and I really hope you guys are paying attention, because here's what I want you to do next. If you have been paying attention, and you might need to go back and listen to this again, I want you to leave a comment, and in that comment, I want you to write me a sentence that uses a connective. And it can be one that you've heard me say, or one that you know yourself. But I want to see the best connectives you can. Don't forget to subscribe and like, just so I know who's paying attention and who's not. I don't know how long I want to keep this going for. But otherwise, watch the rest of this match. It's super short. See my little Mac, the best little Mac in the world, go at it. We'll see you next week.